Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having a little bit of fun with the Red Escanor Pierce combination. So in the last week and a bit, a very popular theme at the top end of PvP is benching the green version of Escanor to bring in the red version. Because bringing in the red gives you an overall better matchup in most mono red scenarios, also much better against Valenti matchups and any alt rush matchups, because you have the double AoE drain from Escanor and also Lilia, and even without Arthur, that Escanor hit still hits really really hard on both his cards and the ultimate is just like a guaranteed kill on anybody and also the crazy thing about Red Escanor is he is just an unkillable god for like three turns unless you're facing Petrophile buff removal um, and yeah there's really just not too much of that going about at the moment especially with Pierce being kind of the, the big dominant thing like Kingbrim is still running scared for the most part uh, but hopefully we got a player on the line here man I just tried recording like like two intro matches and they were both pots so yeah hopefully we finally found somebody yes okay there we go large hawk you are you're my savior today here uh i think for the opening play actually here just to maximize draw i i like this one we don't necessarily need like the uh the Eskinor drain um uh too early on either because there's no like alt rush strategy so i think we'll just use this one for damage but look at that, still like 10k on everybody. I think there's like definitely a red king on the back line, sir. So yeah, we're not dealing as much as we could be if there was no red king. But there's still like, there's still a lot of red king at the top, man. Just because everybody's running pierce at the moment. But let's see what he goes for in terms of the uh, the counterplay here. Made a, a healthy dent so far. Okay, so he's going to go for the, the blue team Meliodas. That is one of the, the cons of um, using red in comparison to green, is that the burst on green is uh, a little bit better single target. Um, but here, it doesn't matter too much. Again, with like king on the back lines, we're like really getting one shot on the blue D melee turn one. So I think we just go for um, these cards. That should be good. I think Escanor probably goes down there if we're lucky. Yeah, I, th I think he's alm almost guaranteed to die. Just be about enough. Oh, mate, that was so close. Yeah, I shouldn't have said almost guaranteed, man. That pretty much guaranteed that he was going to survive there. But Blue D Melly, he might get clapped next turn. But the good thing is, with all this cleave, man, like his Melly and his Lilia, uh, they're not looking too healthy at the moment. And looks like he might go for double heal on Lilia. It's not a bad play, bro. Not a bad play. Oh. That, that is a proper naughty play right there. Right. Well we we've got we got some good retaliation, man. I think we'll go for we'll go for the dab. Uh there's gonna be no merger, so that's great news. So if we go for the dab and then we go for a pierce card. And then we nuke into Escanor. He he might go down. I don't I don't think he's gonna go down this turn. He's probably gonna be like really really close to dying again though. Oh mate, that's so damn close there. But the good thing is with this play, uh, we've kept a lot of pressure on him. But we've also got Escanor's ult as well, so he does uh, want to drain that. I think he might have a Lilia drain already merged. Judging by the car positioning. Oh no, he's just merged something into gold. Okay, is that a golden lily drain? I think it might be, man. Oh, that is that's bad news, lads. That's very bad news. Okay, so we're getting massively drained on the Escanor there. Hmm. Oh, dude, the perfect top deck. Yes! <laughs> that is that is amazing news, man. That's really, really good. Okay, so we've got the, the Eskinal Drain right there. Um, and then what else do we want to go for? I think we go for the Eskinal Drain. And then I think I'm just going to use uh, both of these cards. Actually, I'm going to use the, the Blue D Melly one just to make sure. Oh, no. I think I was a bit too late there. Oh, yeah, that, that Lilia card is uh, a bit wasted there, man. We're still doing all right, though. Oh, should have I should have rushed Eskinor's ult instead there, or chucked off the Pierce card. Okay, that's good. Exactly what we wanted to see, just to be able to uh, prevent Lilia's ult again. 
That's what I love about this team is you've just got so many like alt drain cards to draw to break tiebreakers like this. Because with Red King, these Pierce matchups, they do often get to a stage where it's like somebody needs to start throwing alts to kill. And that's the, the really good thing. Um, okay, I think, do we just go for max damage here? Let's maybe save the Pierce card for now. I think we just go for Corrosion, just because that's going to have a bit more value probably than the Pierce. Just because everybody's so topped up. We could have held on to that Escanor card if we wanted to, but I thought we'd risk it, man. I thought we'd see what we can draw. Because the draw has been has been moderately generous to us so far. Has he got another Lilia drain though? That's the that's the big question here. Okay, that's really good. Really, really good. Yeah, that's perfect. If I hadn't have like wasted that Lilia drain unnecessarily as well, we'd be in such a crazy position now. But we're still in a really, really good position. Okay, so we've been recovery disabled here, but I think we just go for two of these mad lads and straight into one of these as well. But I think judging by his emote, he's probably out of drain cards. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's about to merge. And I don't know if this is like a BM emote. Okay, no, it's not a BM emote. Is he signaling he's got no drains? <laughs> I can't tell. This man loves his emotes. Or has he just got triple pierce cards? That that might be that might be the one as well. Yeah. Um I think I think we should be okay here. Uh, I, I feel like he's a bit more confident in that play. Oh mate, he's getting so punished here, man. Right, do we go for Lilia? I think we go for Lilia on the follow-up here. Who's going to deal a bit more? I think Lilia's card. Or we just get topped up here for a bit of safety. Oh, I think there's a good chance we can get her down. So yeah, I think we go for, go for this. Let's give it a go. I think we just got a full send, man. Come on. That should just about be enough. Oh, dude, that was a crazy match in the end. Well played. Large Hawk, he needs to chill on the emotes a little bit there, man. Just a little bit, bro. Just calm down a bit. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Opponent has forfeited the matchup. Very, uh, very uh, good little start there. But let's, uh, let's crack on. Hopefully we can find some... Um, uh, more players today, but that one uh, that one went really really well I think that was uh, probably one of the, the perfect uh, mirror matchup showcases to start although it was quite close in the end man That golden lily drain that he got uh, quite early on definitely set my team back a fair bit um, in terms of the ability to um, You know get to alts and start nuking him down but the combination of the draw that we had available with Escanor and Lilia uh, was just really, really nice. I think judging by the CC, this is very likely a player. It's got a little bit lucky with the merger. That's merged into Elegant Blow, so we can instantly rush um, that Escanor's ult. So we need to be a bit more careful with our first turn play here. But do we want to go for a single... I think we just go for a single Corrosion here. And let's nuke in... Actually... Let's go for. Let's go for this play. Sorry, I just needed a moment to think about that one in terms of the follow-up and how this one's gonna go. But yeah, I think this is the right play to go for. Okay, very nice. We got a Lilia drain. Perfect. So we're gonna deny his um Escanor ult there, and then I need to look at what I want to do for the follow-up. I think we deny his ult and then. Maybe go for a merger on Lilia with a heal, so we can rush Lilia's ult. Because if we can get that man down, yeah, we, we can control that Escanor, I reckon. So let's let's go for it. Let's go for this and let's merge. And do I want to heal here? Yeah, I think it makes sense to heal. We need it to use another move for uh, Max Alt Gauge anyway. 
Okay, he's got silver, so he's not going to instantly merge into ult, which is fantastic news as well. The melee gets topped up. He could still get sniped if Escanor has a lucky hand. I think he's actually got another silver on the Escanor as well. He's got a gold on somebody. Gold's on Lilia. Oh my god, is, it, is that a golden Lilia drink? Oh, give me a break, man. I need a break on some of this RNG. This is mental. The Golden Lily drain so early on. At least the D-Melly Corrosion is like, it's still doing work, mate. That's still putting in a, a solid effort there. But I think here we go for this one. And then, do I want to use the Pierce card here? I think I used the Pierce card. I think the healing's about the same. Mm, yeah, it gets like, what is it? Blue Demon Melly. You know, itches him, uh, itches, etches him a bit closer to an ultimate. And the lifesteal, I think it's going to be, yeah, 7k. Maybe it was a bit better to use that heal because he still is um, in a bit of a risky range from sniping. We even got another Escanor drain, but we got another Lilia drain, so it's working out okay. Question is, has he run out of Lilia drains? Has he just used all of his now? I think I fought Venom before, though. Venom's, I think he killed me in a video once. Oh, I forgot which video it was. We've had some great matches, though. Oh, yeah, Blue D Melly might be might be getting clapped here. We'll see. He's got one more card. Okay, fair enough, man. Fair enough. But now we get Lilia's ulti. So that's really, really nice. So we're going to fire off Lilia's ult, and then I think we go for... I think just a maximize draw. Actually, I... I yeah, I kind of like this play, man. I think this is the one to go for. Just gets our Red Escanor a bit closer to his ult. And gives us like a, a dream to play around with next turn as well. Because it's definitely like not over between uh, these two. Because they're still a very, very high alt gauge. But I think... I think we should be okay. Okay, that's... Dude, that's crazy draw on King. It's insanity draw on King. That's so good. That... That has just given us a play to win the game. 100%. Wow, that was, that was a bit stupid. That was really, really stupid. But I love it. I do love it. Right, so this turn, we're going to go for Escanor's Drain, and then let's go for this card on King, and then we're also going to go for Recovery Disable as well, I think. Um, and then, yeah, I think after that we just win the game next turn with Red King's ult. Unless he's got a crazy merger here. Uh, okay, good. No merger. Fantastic. Okay, nice. Can't disable that explosion. So explosion's going to deal massive damage at the start. And I think we just fire off King's Alt and win. King's Alt, move the Escanor card. Um, use the Escanor card. And we're, we're good. And then next turn, King drops down. We got Escanor's Alt ready. Just done. Does, don't even mind if he kills the Lelia here, actually. It's absolutely fine. But yeah, GG bro, well played, well played. There we go. We actually don't have a um, uh, what is it, an extra, <laughs> extra turn now. But uh, that was a good match, better. That was a really, really good match. But you can see, kind of in these these uh, Pierce stalemates, where it does become like who can fire off the ult first. Like having what is it, uh, a one in three chance to draw either Escanor or Lilia's Drain card, just to get the uh, the matchup um. Uh, under control in terms of ults because you even need like a lot of green Escanor cards well, a lot of green you need like three or four um and uh yeah ults just ults just tiebreaker a lot in these uh these pierce matches so yeah i found this team uh to be at least you know when i've been running it more successful overall uh, in comparison to running the green variant and it even does have the uh, ability to win um uh, going second. However, what do we have here, man? Somebody running uh, Galland and uh, Escanor? Okay. 
Very interesting. So we're taunted on Gallon. So we've got a new hint to him. Hmm. I think we go for Corrosion here. Corrosion's got massive value in this matchup. And I think we just go for these two cards just due to the fact that it just allows us to merge easily on Lilia straight out of the bat. And it's also going to maximize draw for the next turn. Because we don't need to use the Pierce card immediately. And the Corrosion, yeah, definitely has some more value. But I think, judging by the emote as well, I think it is a player. Okay, that's pretty good follow-up, man. That's some pretty good follow-up. It's going to buff up Escanor. I imagine, go Ham as well. Oh, did he draw straight into a, a Silver? Okay, there's maybe a chance he can just instantly kill my um, Blue Team and Melee here. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. I think he's using one, one Escanor card. Oh, no, go for Lilia. Okay. Fair play. Makes a bit of sense. I, I can definitely understand that one. Um, and yeah, here I think we just go for... Let's have a look at the, the substats on my Blue Demon Melee. Uh, where do I find them in the middle? Yeah, we don't have any Pierce reduction, so our Pierce card should hit like a, um, a Meteorite. I think we should get Gallon down. And if we just uh, go for the Arthur there, I think we probably kill both of them. Uh, maybe a little bit short on Gallant. Oh no, we're going to be fine on Gallant. Cool. Right, well that, that worked out well. I'll certainly take that. Then we've got uh, Escanor's ulti next turn. we still got a Lilia Drain in hand. Uh, we can go for a Lilia Golden Drain. There are there are options, man. we got a lot of options to play about with here. Or maybe if Lilia dies, actually. Yeah, okay. There are limited options. If he goes for Drain... Oh, he doesn't have a Drain. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So we can just ult the Escanor. Um, there is maybe a chance. Like, Escanor's fully buffed up, man. He's I don't think he's going to die from a single ult there. Okay, but I think if we just, like, chuck everything in, it should just about get him down. <laughs> oh, I don't know. My Escanor's 5-6. But this is fully buffed up. With the Arthur buff as well. So yeah, I don't know. Dude, maybe I called GG way too early. Because now he can one-shot my Escanor or Blue Demon Melee. Actually, if he doesn't go for the Blue Demon Melee, then Blue Demon Melee is just going to one-shot him next turn. So yeah, he's kind of forced to go for Blue Demon Melee there. It also makes sense, I guess. Oh, that did not... Didn't quite touch the sides there, fella. I'm so sorry about that one, Chief. Right, let's go for a cheeky uh, one of these. And um, I think that's a, a massive a massive GG there. That's a little bit of follow-up on Grimor. But the explosion combo uh, with Dean Melly's ult should be uh, a ton of overkill here. Perfect. <laughs> that is a fair expression, man. Well played, Suka. Well played. That was a cool matchup. But, uh, yeah, let's see if he uh, goes to the forfeit button or decides to juke out with Grimoire. Oh, no, he's going for the Grimoire ult. This man is, this man is rallying. My goodness. Um, okay, let's just go for all of... Actually, do we have a plan? I think if we just rush uh, Escanor's ult, that's probably like the best play that we have. Because that's probably still going to one-shot Grimoire. Even with the uh, the attack related uh, stats debuffs, I, th I think it's the play to go for, man. But he's uh, he's sending it, bro. I c I can't knock him for sending it. A valiant a valiant warrior here. Right, let's go for Escanor's ult. Full up with that, and there we go. We should be good. Grimoire straight in the bin. We've had some great matches today, man. I've been thoroughly enjoying this video. Let's go for matchup uh, number four today. Hopefully we've got a, um, a pretty stacked up player. Not even being funny, I've literally done six matches in a row. All of them bots, but we're on a 100% win streak, so I didn't want to like throw it out just yet. Uh, however, we're actually not too far off getting number one. So uh, may maybe we, you know, do a couple more. Hopefully we can find an actual player just to round off today's video. 
that would be so, so perfect. But I think for the AOT collab tomorrow, man, I need to bail down. I need to go down. We want to do some PvP videos. And, yeah, I need to get back down to uh, Champion 2 in order to um, uh, reliably queue against some players there. Uh, but do we have a player on the line here? We've got a mono red Escanor team. Let's go for a polite bow. Are we going to get anything back? Hey, there we go. Jay Jones, thank you so much for being an actual human. Mad, mad love. Okay, pretty good start. I think we just go for the Gotha here. Let's double nail in. Got a nice little bursty card on Escanor. Follow up with double pierce cards. I'm assuming Red King. Oh, Red King is not on the back. This man's about to get spanked so damn hard. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, lads. We had a very, very nasty opener. Um, especially for Red King not being there. So, let's see what the follow-up is. Okay, so he's going to merge on Arthur. Upgrade on Gotha. Go straight into gold. Interesting. So this is the, the dream play for mono red teams. But we should have some pretty good follow-up here. I really need to hope killing that Gotha doesn't mean... Actually, we might be able to leave Gotha alive. I'm not too sure if he lives or not. It's not the worst thing if he lives. But let's see what happens. If we get both Arthur and Gotha pretty low, and then he's probably going to snipe probably the Blue Dean Meliodas, especially considering he does not have uh, King on the sub here. Probably going to go for that. I think judging by the uh, the regeneration on Gotha, uh, almost certainly got Grimoire on the sub. Oh, that is unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I think we can still get that Gotha down if, if we're lucky, man. Oh, no, actually, that Gotha is not going down. Hmm, that's bad news. That's really bad news. Okay, I think we just chuck off all the D melee cards so we can just maximize draw. Uh, who goes down after this? Uh, he's he's kind of, to a certain extent, got his pick. He could probably kill two next turn. Maybe Lilia and Blue D melee just leaves him, me with Escanor. So yeah, he goes for Ghost's ult. And he's going to Arthur ult my Meliodas. And then he's going to smash into the Lilia. Oh no, he Arthur ults the Lilia. Okay. Do Meli might survive this then? It's only a, only a bronze, right? Yeah, we good, bro. We good. Okay, perfect. Well, um... Oh, okay. I think we just three of these... Three of these piercy boys... See, I see, you know, where that gets us. Dean Melly, he's, he's making a bit of a comeback here. Okay, and now this man's about to lose his buffs. So his tempo goes down a fair bit. We've got another Pierce card on the draw as well. That's very good. But does he have another way to get Arthur's gold? He might do. Oh my goodness. She's got a very cheeky merger there. Okay, so he's going to go for attack disable. Interesting. Right. I think we go for a single corrosion card over here and these two. I like this play. It's got some good pressure. Maybe gets one of them down. I, th I think they're still standing by a bit. That Grimoire on the sub. He's doing some work, man. He's definitely doing some work. Look at that. After just regenerated 12,000. <laughs> My goodness. Is it Grimoire on the sub? Might be Twig on the sub and using recovery food. But, God. I, would I wouldn't imagine so. It may be. It may be, though. We'll see. Okay, what's the play going to be? So it's going to be upgrade Escanor Drain. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Drain. Oh, dude, this, this matchup has definitely had a bit of a bit of back and forth to it, for sure. Well, I think we're about to... Um, not end it here. Let's 
I think we truck off King's additional card as well. Actually, could I just go for Eskinaws? Yeah, I think we just go for this single target one. It's comfortable cleave down there. I just used the second Eskinaw card just to make sure that Arthur and Gotha died. And there we go, man. That should that should be it. So yeah, even even if he's got a drain play with Eskinaw and rushes all, I think we can still kill that Eskinaw next turn. We've got a single Eskinal smack in. So yeah, Madloff to Jay Jones, man. That was a really, really cool final match. But overall, so many amazing matches today. Like a lot of them, they really do come down to the wire when they're played out. Um, but yeah, I had a really, really good time. So thank you uh, to everybody that fought me in today's PvP video. Uh, and yeah, I really do like the... Um, uh, kind of the red Escanor addition to the Pierce team. I do think that for the current meta, he's like a little bit better than Green Escanor. I still don't think like Green Escanor is bad or unviable. And there will be like certain scenarios um, in which like Green Escanor gets a little bit luckier, can rush alt first turn, and then just absolutely annihilate this team as well. So there's no kind of like one dominant team. But overall, I do think this team... Um, uh, does perform a little bit better in comparison to the green Eskinal variant. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy today's PvP video, please do smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.